hi guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture I am going to teach you how to give the different name to a single HTML element by using the class and the next thing is uh, what type of a name is best for the class here I am going to tell you what what the things that a class name must not contain first of all here I'm gonna write a class and here write a b and here is dot a b in the name of the class you should need to write you are able to write upper uppercase and the lowercase letters and you are not allowed to write the special characters here I'm going to give it a background color here is red so now let's execute it so here the red background is applied but here if we write a special character at the rate and write it here so now the name is equal so here you can see that the style is not apply on this heading because the special character is written in the name of the class so in this way you don't need to write the special character in the name of the class you cannot also able to write the special character in the name of the ID both in in the class and the ID restrict the special characters and here another thing that is you are not allowed to write the numbers name to the class here if we write 76 so it will not work here is the 76 so here you can see that when we load it so the style is not applying on this heading so don't write a name to the class or to the ID that is number don't give a number to the ID or a class but here if we give the number in this way like a b 76 that is that is mixed with the lowercase letters so it will work here is the a b so now let's execute it so here it is working so in this way you can give the numbers with the letters but you we uh, but you are not allowed to write the numbers at the place of the first letter here if we write the number at the place of the letter first letter so it will also not work here you can see that it will not working here so in this way you have to give the numbers after the first letter and the first letter must be the lowercase or uppercase letter so now it's working so in this way you can give the name to the IDs and the class don't write the numbers at the first place and don't write the special characters in the name of the ID and the class here it is also working for the ID here is the hash let's check it so here it's working and you can also give the special character here then it will not work here is the special character so let's see here you can see that it is not working and the next thing is how to give the different name to a single ele single HTML element by using the class here I'm gonna write a class and then here I'm gonna remove it and here first of all I'm gonna give the name to this class is first but if we want to give another name to the class is write the space and then write the second word of the second name of the class and then add another space you can write the third name and also you can write the names as many as you want here I'm gonna write third and all of the previous rules are apply to these names don't write the special character in the name of the classes here then that name will not work and don't write the number at the first place of the name here you can apply different styles on it if we write dot first and here if we write dot second here if we write 
background orange background no I'm I'm not gonna give it a background because we have already given the background so now we are using two classes to give the different styles to the heading so now let's look at it so here you can see that the ba red background is applied by using the first ID and the orange color is applied by using the second class name that is the second so here you can also use the third one here is right the third and here I'm gonna give it some padding here is the padding 20 pixel so now let's watch it here you can see that the spelling is incorrect so now let's watch it so here its width and height is increased so in this way you can give more than one name to the class but here I'm gonna add the special character into the first name so now the first name will not work that is the background but the padding and the color is working but here if we give the number at the start of the second name then it will also not work and if we provide another error in the third name then it will also not working so in this way you can give more than one name but here you have to write the space between the names here if we write like this here the underscore then this is just only one name this is not the two names first and second this is just one name here you can see that no style will be applied and here when we write like this then it will work here you can see that so you can also not able to give the name of the number here if we write like this 8 then here if we provide 8 then it will not work here you can see that here I'm gonna remove it then the background will be applied so here the background is applied by using the first class color is by using the second class but here it having the property padding it is not applying so in this way you can give the different names to the class but the ID have the only unique identity you cannot give more than one name to the ID because class have many names uh, first class third class second class or you can give any name to a class you can give any number of names to a class but the identity is unique every person in this world have the unique identity so in this HTML and CSS the ID also has the one value ID cannot contain more than one value here if we give ID ID so all of these IDs will not work here hash and here is also hash so all of these are not gonna work here you can see that but here if we write like this resolving the space so then we have to write it like this here I'm going to remove it and then here write 8 second so now it will be working because it is a single ID so it contain only one value it cannot have more than one value so in this way you can handle the classes I hope you understand my lecture if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can so thank you for watching this video